We had some news come out in college basketball today that I found pretty interesting. Interesting, I mean, maybe even a bit of a surprise. Although, depending on how you look at it, maybe it's not a surprise considering what was probably, which was probably inevitable. Shaka Smart has taken the Marquette job. He is leaving Texas and going to Marquette. Am I surprised by this move? Not necessarily. Because in the six seasons that Chaka Smart has been the head coach for the Longhorns, three NCAA tournament appearances. And he is 0 for 3 in the NCAA tournament with Texas. And they've lost in the first round to Northern Iowa, Nevada, and Abilene Christian. And it's not like they're losing to Duke or North Carolina or Kentucky or Oregon or Wisconsin early on in the tournament. They're losing to these mid-major schools consistently. And I think that it was inevitable that he was going to get fired at some point. So he took advantage of these other schools looking for a new coach. And these schools, they're not just any of these schools, really. They're schools that are historic college basketball programs like Marquette and Indiana. Those are two of those schools that are really historic programs when it comes to college basketball. And with Smart being a Wisconsin native, I think it made a lot of sense. Because honestly, I think after that loss to Abilene Christian, I think Smart probably knew the writing was on the wall. If they didn't maybe tell him something like, okay, next season Texas has to get to at least a Sweet 16 or else you're out. That probably also could have been said. Because this news is less than a week after Texas's latest loss in the NCAA tournament. And I think maybe a fresh start in Marquette, I think it can do wonders for Shaka Smart. Because Marquette may be an historic college basketball program, but I feel like they're going to be a little more, bit more lenient than Texas. Because Shaka Smart is most known for taking VCU to the Final Four. The year the, fir- the year was when that first four first got implemented, and VCU went from that first four to the Final Four. And ultimately, that is what got him that Texas job, with his ability to make it that far the tournament. But we, uh, we see all the time that when coaches are at these smaller schools, once they get to a big-time program, they don't always succeed. I mean, some do. I mean, it could take longer than others. But in an instance like Shaka Smart, doesn't pan out very well. And I think he knew he was going to get fired next season if Texas didn't make a couple of wins in that NCAA tournament. Because Texas has high expectations for their for their sports. They expect to compete for championships Year in, year out, no matter what the sport is. Whether it's football, basketball, baseball, whatever the sport is, they expect to be in championship contention year in, year out. And as far as the next Texas coach is concerned, Chris Beard has been mentioned. I know Chris Beard is a Texas alum, but I don't think he wants to leave Texas Tech. I really don't think so. I mean, even though that's his alma mater, and that's where he got his coaching career started, Texas Tech has done really well recently. I mean, they had a close loss to Arkansas on the round of 32. So they were maybe a couple plays away from getting to the Sweet 16 this season. And in the last tournament, they were the runners-up. And they almost won the championship in 2019. I mean, Rick Pitino has been mentioned. Although I could see Rick Pitino maybe... I could see Rick Pitino... Potentially taking the Indiana job, maybe. So it's unknown to me. Although I think a dark horse candidate for me, I mean, it could be Cronin out of UCLA. Maybe a dark horse candidate. He's in the sweet, he's in the sweet 16 with UCLA right now. So you might be a dark horse candidate for that job. But that's all I have to say on that. 
I think that Smart, he made the smart move here by taking the Marquette job because, honestly, him being fired from Texas, I think, was inevitable because I think he saw the writing on the wall and he probably thought, okay, well, if Texas can't get to, like, maybe the Sweet 16 next season or Elite Eight, Shaka Smart's probably gone. Because you can't expect to be in championship contention when you're losing these mid-major schools in the first round on a consistent basis. I mean, if you were losing, like, some of the powerhouses in college basketball, like, if you were, like, maybe a, a 10 seed losing to, like, a North Carolina or a Duke, I mean, I could get that. Like, you're losing to Blue Buds of college basketball. But you're losing to mid-major programs. But let me know what you think in the comments section, and I will talk to you next time.